Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content in this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Definitely uh, like, comment, subscribe. Get this video out to more Ravens fans, get to a bigger audience. Now, today we're going to talk about the Ravens signing TJ Carey. Yes, the signing did happen, I believe, yesterday. Uh, but we did the injury report yesterday. So we're going to talk about and break down the, the sign of TJ Carey today. Now, um, let's just start from the top, right? 32 years old, uh, six foot, 208 pound corner. So, you know, not, not a small guy. So that's, that's cool to see. Uh, Ohio University, uh, 20, 2014 seventh round pick. So he's been in the league for a little while. He's played for the Raiders, Browns, Colts, um, in his career, seven interceptions, two touchdowns, uh, interesting fact about his career so far. Uh, he's played eight seasons. And six of those eight seasons, he's caught at least one interception. So at least one time a year, he usually finds himself around the football. He has a lot of pass breakups as well. I noticed that on when I was looking at his pro reference page. So pretty good corner, solid, you know, dependable backup kind of guy. Um, he really only had two major years where he started on a team, and that was both with the Raiders. 2015-14 uh, games started. And 2017, he started all 16 games for the uh, for the Raiders. Now, he's he's played a lot of snaps everywhere he's been. All right, so he's a guy that hasn't just been on the backup on the bench. He's been in the game active, you know. So um, when I looked at his career, 2015, 87% played. 2017, 99% of the snaps played. He was out there every single play in that year down there. Then 2018, 2019. Above 60% in both of those years. In the last two years, it's kind of fallen off a little bit, okay? But this is a guy who gives the Ravens another guy who can play corner and safety. He has that kind of versatility. Um, he's done a little bit, I believe, in Oakland and for the Browns. He played a little bit of safety for them as well. So if the Ravens ever find themselves lacking in either area, he's a guy that can fill in one or the other. And that probably is why, you know, he's one of the, the bigger corners at six foot, you know, almost 210 pounds. Because he gets that safety corner uh, versatility. Okay. Um, and also, speaking of that versatility and his size, he has over 40 combined tackles in five of his eight seasons. So, not only is he pretty decent in coverage, uh, he when if the guy does catch the ball, he's pretty good at getting the guy to the ground. Has a lot of tackles. Um, and that's something that the Ravens have struggled in, is um, always completing the play. So, TJ Curry could help in that sense. Um, now, obviously, we're not expecting this guy to be a starter, anything like that. This is just really an emergency signing. I um, mean, like, by the way, he, I mean, he is 32 years old, so he's not going to be starting for anybody. It's a reason that, you know, he was solo free agent at this point. But he's a solid player that can give the Ravens some dependable snaps if called upon, okay? Um, like I said before, he hasn't played as much in the last two years, which is part of the reason why he's a free agent at this moment. And we're going to get to the next part, which is why the Ravens may need this guy immediately, Okay. Uh, I was looking at the practice report for today. All right. Brandon Stevens did not practice. So yesterday, I believe he also didn't practice or he was limited one of the two. So it's trending in a in the wrong direction for Brandon Stevens. And also Marlon Humphrey was limited today in practice. So that's two more corners right there who may not play. Uh, I think Marlon will play. You know, they, they could just have him limited because Thursday's kind of just a walkthrough day kind of thing. And there's no reason to push him. But it's something to keep an eye out on, okay? Now, somebody that does play corner who is a full participant today is Marcus Peters. And that's an upgrade because Marcus Peters was limited as uh, just of yesterday. So now today he's a full participant. J.K. Dobbins is a full participant for the second day in a row. Uh, Travis Jones is a full participant for the first time since being back. So I would say it looks like all three of those guys are trending towards playing versus the Dolphins which is going to get the Ravens a massive, massive boost. And um, if that's the case, if uh, you know like a guy like Marcus Peters can go, then they may not need to bring TJ Carey off the practice squad. We also got to remember, right, there are several players that are probably in front of TJ Carey and for this opportunity, you got Pepe Williams. You got Jalen Armour Davis. You got Ardarius Washington, who is still down there. The guy, uh, Darius Washington offers that same kind of safety corner versatility. Now, obviously, T.J. Carey is a much bigger, you know, player than uh, our Darius Washington is. But at the end of the day, he offers that same kind of versatility. So I will look for guys like Pepe Williams, who had a really, really good uh, preseason, especially versus the Cardinals uh, game. He had a really good game there. 
Uh, look for Jalen Armour Davis. We didn't see him much during the preseason because he was injured. But, you know, had some run in his first game versus the Jets. I would expect the Ravens to continue to try to give him some run out there on the field. I mean, these guys were fourth-round picks this year. They want to see what these guys got. They were brought here for a reason. That's the play. Now, as far as TJ Curry goes, I do like the signing. I feel like it gives the Ravens some more insurance, some more depth. That's something that Eric DeCosta has learned from. I will give him credit for that, is that you can never have too many corners. You can never have too many guys on the back end. Because as long as I've been a Ravens fan, the Ravens have seemingly had issues with uh, the health of, you know, corners, safety, whatever it may be. And we end up having to play guys like, you know, not to throw these kind of guys under the bus, but, you know, Robert Jackson, Kavon Seymour, guys that probably wouldn't play for most NFL teams um, if they had the choice, but they have to play due to injury and things like that. So TJ Carey at least gives the Ravens a guy who is experienced. He's played a lot of snaps, like I said, and he's been on, you know, decent teams. You know what I'm saying? Coach team he was on was pretty decent. So he has experience on uh, good NFL rosters, right? So that's what I'm looking out for. See if they will call this guy up. And they, if they do call him up, I expect them to play well. I don't expect him to be completely out the mix, completely uh, sorry or anything like that. But that could change if he has to play a lot of snaps. Now, now, like I said, these last couple years, I believe he was the last year with the, with the Colts, he was only around like 20% of the snaps on the field. So he didn't play a lot last year. So now you so now into this year, you don't want him to play a lot. But if they need him, I feel like he can fill in in a pinch, which is kind of what the Ravens need at this moment, right? Uh, we don't know the extent of Brandon Stevens' injury, if it's serious or if it's just, you know, they're, they're resting him for the day, whatever it may be, we don't really know, okay? Uh, Marlo is the same way. I think it's just a, a rest day for Marlo, but I could be wrong. But for right now, until we know more, until we see what happens on Friday, we're just going to call it a rest day. So the Ravens could be in a good position at cornerback and not really need TJ Curry for right now. They, they just keep him stashed on the practice squad just in case. But we'll see. So um, the main thing is that big physical corner. He's been around the ball. He's um, and he plays a lot when he when he does get a chance to play and he plays well. He you know good good solid tackler and uh, he's a guy that can help the Ravens in a pitch. So. It's not a a big deal type of sign or anything like that. It's just more of a security blanket if the Ravens need them. You know, you never know what could happen in these kind of NFL seasons. As as we know, the Ravens need to be prepared for injuries because it's a part of the game. And we learned we learned our lesson last year that if you don't prepare for injuries, you could fight you could find yourself behind the eight ball and um in a really, really dire spot. So that's my breakdown of TJ Carey. Um you know, good player. And also, we got some guys coming back. Looks like Marcus Peters is going to play if I had to guess. J.K. Diamonds, Travis Jones. Uh, we'll see what happens with Marlon Humphrey. But the Ravens are getting healthy. And we'll be able to get to see this team at full potential pretty soon. Um, guys like Ronnie Stanley, I don't think will play. Pat Ricard might not play. I will say that. We'll see what happens with him because he's, he, he's did not practice for the second day in a row. Uh, so we'll see what happens, man. But the Ravens, I think, are in good shape. And they're, they're getting healthy, right? You want to kind of ramp up for the season. You don't want to be at your best right now. You want you want to keep going up, which I think the Ravens are on the trajectory to do that, all right? It's your boy Gabriel, just another fan of TV. I'm out.